side is open because no burrow coverage. And I put my tower right on the on the edge of the burrow um, burrow range. So the burrow, if the burrow is loaded, he can hit the tower here. Um, but he decided not to load that burrow, and I think I lose my Beastmaster to the Blade Master again. That's the one thing to uh, against the one thing about the Blade Master is imbalance because he can go invisible, walk through units, and start pounding on your hero. And I think. Here we go, another speed score being uh, being uh, popped, but I kill the Shadow Hunter first. And that Beastmaster is going to actually bring the Blame Master all the way into my tower, Force of Towers. There's a one bash. That makes sure the Blame Master doesn't have a. Oh, has taken a couple more hits uh, more. And I think we have Defend. For those of you, uh, human, versus, human versus Orc, it's really, really important to get Defend. Not, not on everybody gets it. It's really important. Just because the Burrows wouldn't be able to do crap on you. And look at this uh, footman taking no damage, and he's getting no gold out of this either. And I'm my economy is booming here. I have uh, four peasants, five peasants on wood, and uh, five peasants on uh, gold. And it looks like uh, his blame master is going to show his face, and his blame master gets, gets, gets actually gets on. Oh no, his blame master escaped with 29 HP, and he doesn't have a shop anymore because I took it down. And uh, yeah, so blame master there's no way blame master can heal himself. Yeah, nothing left, and uh, more towers gonna be laid down by me. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna throw down more ivory towers over here, just using my mountain king. And of course, I'm pushing hand on the mountain king just in case, just in case he's load up all the burrows and start rain on, rain on me. So yeah, that 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 footman's gonna tank all the all the damage. He we wouldn't even be microing at this point because he know he lost the game. The blame master wouldn't be able to show his face. That one walks over wear off, and. Uh, yeah, this I'm I'm upgrading my towers. One of my one of my towers getting actually uh, shot by the burrow, but I feel I'm being okay. His main is gonna be lose, lost. There's no way he can chase me out because he's gonna run into a head head on to a lot of towers. And here comes my beastmaster, beastmaster with the credit potion, and uh, that's gonna guarantee me two credit beasts at least. If Billy Master gets killed because the one walk ran out, and he, this raider is actually not doing anything because he there's no no way. Um, yeah, that's GG right here. Uh, his main, his main gets killed. Yeah, that's that's the one I want to show you. Just, um, because the human tower is actually, if used correctly on Total Rock, is really really imbalanced. Versus uh, Orc or and uh, Night Elf. Um, I know Night Elf versus human is always epic every time. But uh, if you throw in towers in the mix, then uh, Night Elf doesn't have a chance against you unless they have, unless they have hunt, uh, not hunters, is the bears. Bears or um or Dark Ranger or um what else um what else counters human towers from Night Elf uh Glaive Throwers the uh, Glaive Throwers are weak all you need to do is uh, focus your water elemental on the Glaive Throwers and the Glaive with her mm, Glaive Throwers can go down really quick um that's it that's all that's all there is um yeah and just to stop whining about Blade Master and uh, start whining about <laughs> start whining about human towers stay tuned for more.